Hi everybody. In this video, I will demonstrate the refining of gold from Old Carrot Jewelry. The process shown in this video is for recreational purposes only. Any attempt to repeat the process requires the use of all safety gear and equipment, such as heat-proof shielding, goggles, a fume hood, and gloves. Here is our scrap gold, 36.12 grams of 18 carat and 33.05 grams of 14 carat. The first step in this process is to calculate the amount of silver that should be added in order to make the alloy into a 6 carat, meaning one quarter of the alloy is gold and the rest is silver or copper or other elements that are soluble in nitric acid. For inquarting, I always use scrap sterling silver. This basically gives the opportunity to hit two birds with one stone, as I also get to refine the silver from the scrap sterling. For the amount of 18 carat scrap I have here, I'll need to add 72.24 grams of sterling silver, and for the amount of 14 carat scrap, I'll add 44.03 grams. All in all, the result is 185.44 grams of 6 carat gold alloy. You can calculate it yourself, or you can simply use the calculator on my website. It's pretty self-explanatory. Here's the link. I'll leave it here in the corner for a while. Alright, the next step is to melt everything together. Keep in mind that the alloy needs to be homogeneous, so that means to stir the liquid metals thoroughly. Of course, if you are melting the scrap with an induction furnace, stirring is not necessary. To granulate the metal, I will pour the molten metal into a bucket filled with water, from a height of about a foot and a half. The water depth is about 14 inches. Okay, here we go. Pouring the molten metal from this height produces shot, which has a large surface area, quite similar to cornflakes. The metal granules are placed in a reaction vessel and placed on a hot plate. Here you can see the addition of the 50-50 nitric acid solution. That means half of the solution is 70% nitric and the other half is distilled water. The nitric leach usually takes about 2-3 to three hours at near boiling temperature. The acid will dissolve all of the silver and other base metals such as copper, nickel and zinc into the solution. Here, I have decanted the solution which reveals the gold sponge. As you can see, the structure of the cornflakes is still intact. This is exactly what we want because it is easier to wash this away. Keep it intact because it is very brittle. By the way, some refiners would choose to perform another nitric leach at this point using a slightly more concentrated acid, meaning one part distilled water and two parts 70% nitric. I find it useful as well. The next step is to clean the gold sponge from the silver and base metal solution. To do that, we will wash the sponge several times with boiling hot distilled water. Repeating these washes three to five times would be enough. The wash water is kept separate so it could be reused on the next batch. Time to dissolve the gold with the hot aqua regia. Two things happen immediately as the hydrochloric acid is added. First, some silver chloride forms and redissolves. We'll deal with that later on in the process. Second, some gold starts to dissolve and give color to the solution. As the solution heats up, you can clearly see the gold being dissolved before any nitric acid addition. I have time lapsed the gold dissolution, though, even at this speed, you can clearly see whenever a small increment of nitric acid is added. Every addition is allowed to react until it is exhausted. The point is, 
to add just enough nitric acid to dissolve the metals. That's it. Please do not follow recipes that call for pre-mixing the aqua regia. Just in case you're wondering, here's a little behind the scenes snapshot of the setup. If you have any questions about it, just leave it on the comment section below. When the dissolution of the gold is done, the solution is diluted three times over with water to precipitate the traces of silver chloride that was previously dissolved. Again, I forgot to film it, but a few milliliters of sulfuric acid were added carefully to the dilute gold solution to precipitate traces of lead, just in case there was any in the solution. The gold solution is left to stand overnight to cool down and precipitate silver chloride and lead sulfate. 